I am going to do another quick video, a demo of uh, a diversion from other stuff I've been working on. Um, this is the XY grid, a Cartesian uh, coordinate grid, like uh, you know algebra. Um, but you can do a few different things with it. I'm going to uh, compile it, load it. There it is. Um, so this has some properties, and the properties are so far border width and uh, the most important one, max value. Circle size is the center marker. Um, so see when you mouse over this the rectangle the widget it moves the uh, marker around now there's a default script set up for grid mouse move and grid mouse up is pretty much the same and uh, they receive XY coordinates that are local to the widget inside the grid So, that default script just shows the coordinates, the local grid coordinates in uh, the message box. Now, you can see these numbers are between 127 and negative 127, the center being 0, 0. If you can get to it, it make it easier to change the color properties of the circle to be transparent, and I'll give it a little bit of color too. So that will help us locate zero zero one one zero zero. It's kind of hard to do it with this many coordinates. But there's another property that I set up here. Uh, only move when the mouse is down. Now, when that's checked, I can only move the box, the, uh, the marker, when the mouse is down. So... Yeah, close enough. Now there's also a snap to zero here. So now it's always going to go back to zero, zero. Although I don't have it displaying the, the zero, zero coordinate. So now there's also this draw line. That's just kind of a gives it kind of a joystick uh, vibe, which uh, actually is what got me working on this widget. It's a widget I had in the back of my mind for a while, but uh. I thought this might come in handy for the joystick, uh, the HID API library I've been working on for displaying joystick position. But I actually worked that out with a graphic that worked out well, but I figured I might as well uh, put this widget out, get it out of the back of my head. So, and you can just do things with this, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, you could change the the value to, like, say, if I make that one. Now, it's very. It only has one position per per uh, quadrant.
two. Now I have two. It's a little jumpy. that back on 127 there's a reason I always use 127 that's because of MIDI uh, values go from 0 to 127 it's a half a byte uh, in decimal 7 bit byte so I have this script I'm playing around with this earlier. Copy that. Go to my widget. Paste that in. Make the grid do something interesting. X coordinate is the velocity that gives it the volume. It's louder as it goes to the right. And about having fun. That's it. That's my little XY grid. Um, probably gonna work on it some more, add some more properties, and uh, you know, maybe have outlines for the actual grid. But if I did that, it would only be good with lower max value settings if you set this max value to zero it disables basically although it doesn't say it's disabled it is oh, oh, it's still getting a value that's interesting now that was because my script added to the zero.
that's enough fun for today.